Alright, let's go with Battle Scar. Punk was invaded by girls. I don't know. Seems like a French film or something like that about the punk bands. It's episodic, I believe, but I think we're gonna finish it in one go, nevertheless, so we'll see. I'm gonna choose English. Ah, uh, there's no controllers. We steer with our head. Okay, sure. Uh, there are things like that, unfortunately, without control. Art France, yeah, French project. Good. I might be into this music kinda actually. It's kinda this rebellious face, you know, taste back in the day, but I still kinda have it. Oh. May 13th, 1978. Strike one. I was in jail today. Loitering charges for sleeping in the park. Why? It was just me and this Blanquita girl in the cell of the juvenile detention center in Midtown. I was mumbling to myself how stupid I was for thinking I could live by myself in the city. Blanquita wouldn't stop cursing over and over, under her breath, like a church prayer. Fucking people giving me fucking shit for fucking nothing! <laughs> she had the haircut of a loca. Torn black jeans and black boots. Just like the spiked spurred leather boys from the squat houses in the Lower East Side. I mean, she's cute. Good hair color. Cute. She said out of nowhere. You shouldn't shoplift without a wig, though. <laughs> Shoplifting is not for Latinas, I replied. Then she properly introduced herself. Debbie. Lupe. Okay. We got lucky. The cops needed the cell and let us out. We stood in line to get our stuff back. One year to go, Debbie. And it's the criminal court for you. No more kitty cell. I'm counting the hours. Then me. A copy of Howl. My pen. And my journal. Exactly all that I had. Debbie snatched my journal and started bleeding out loud to the cop. Greyhound bus carrying my weight across the Lincoln Tunnel and into the city! What is happening? <laughs> I found her in the street smoking. Can you write songs? I... I tried to see if she was talking to me. Yes. Oh. Do you like punk? Ooh. I do. Second lie. Run then! Wait. <laughs> Debbie to the R train like I would have followed El Diablo himself if it had led me to Roof and Grub. I only had to pretend to be a cool squat kid of the Lower East Side. Mm. Just like her. Can you hear that? She said suddenly. Yes, yes, yes! The next train is skipping. Let's feel the air. Let's go! I'm doing it too, <laughs> I think. Okay. I just could penetrate it. Yeah, that's better. We got off in Loisaida and walked Avenue D in the middle of the night. We reached an abandoned building. Debbie pulled the planks of a blocked window and it dawned on me. What? I was about to get inside a rat hole with a cafe I met in jail. Debbie crawled inside. Come on, I'm not going to murder you. Mm. I followed her. Like in cave paintings, her room was a collage of the hundred kids who ever slept there. Each one leaving something. A poster, graffiti, or a rescued piece of furniture behind them. A head? Debbie. Debbie started walking in circles, reading my journal and saying, Wow! And yes! For months, for years, what the fuck am I saying? For a hundred years, I've been looking for someone who gets me, who can write the songs, you dig? I need to ask you so many questions. I need to know if you have it. Wait, what? It's over. Mm. CBGB or Maxis, Kansas City? CBGB? I improvised. Good answer. Stilettos are blonde? Uh. Stilettos. Yes! Screaming. Now the most important. 
What is your favorite Elder Stiletto song? I just an achievement from a guy in this game, what the hell? I started sobbing. I don't know anything about music. Wait, you said you could write songs. I lied. I left home a month ago. I can't sleep in the park anymore. I don't like liars. Just leave. Listen, I might know nothing about writing songs, but I have it. Fuck off, screamed Debbie. Wait, open my journal two pages before the last. Don't read it. Sing it. Ground level from the chewing cold, I see bazooka gum, Charleston chews, Necco wafers, slow pokes, suckers, black taffy and tootsie rolls, rappers in the rotten grass, candy rotting in the mud, talking square party what? candy wrappers, rotting with the street meat bugs. Why did you learn how to do this? Said Debbie with a smile. I learned in church. Oh, fuck me. No way. <laughs> My God, we need to get you out, said Debbie. Alphabet City is crawling with kids like us. <laughs> Looks funny. Eh? Mosh pit, hoodlum sweating and pushing, but dancing. Anti disco music, dumpster diving, shoplifting tricks for free stage. What? Easy money, you dig? All bands playing fast, so fast that songs get shorter. Fist fights, blue sniffing, and the fucking queen of them all, the amazing artist. You'll see. Only three chords and bang! We'll grab Alphabet City by the balls, we think. Your folly education starts now. Okay, let's go to another chapter. <laughs> I'm doing it in one go, fuck this. I don't know to uh, Avenue A welcomes you with a hundred bombs. Make more Avenue sense. B, it's the street hustlers, the junkies and the thugs. But there is no craftsmanship after Avenue C. Just desperate survival. <laughs> all the way to the river. No unwelcome guests make it out of here alive. I'm standing in Avenue D now. Okay. I'm waiting for Debbie. Where is she? Mama, you have hips. Damn. Oh, she's coming. Where did you get this? I tell Debbie. I jacked it. Come on. <laughs> well, obviously. Brave Lupe, let's ride. I'm not getting on a stolen motorcycle until you tell me who you stole it from. It was abandoned. Okay, come on. <laughs> Oh damn! Quince, dieciséis, diecisiete, nineteenth Street, blink, forty eighth Street and Seventh Avenue. This game has so many like fast sequences. Debbie that... slams the brakes, jumps out, and walks into a guitar shop. It's cool. I follow. Why he is he two D? Rickenbacker for big tools for big job. Screams Debbie. Oh. Then she whispers, "Get a bass." Which one is the bass? <laughs> That's a good question. Strings, Lupe. Okay, okay. I... How can I help you, girls? Run! Screams Debbie. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, stealing is bad. Okay. Debbie howls as we undo the streets. It's not worth it. But no, she makes a sharp turn. Broom. Three minutes later, we are on the Williamsburg Bridge and out of the city. We rush through the streets at 70 miles per hour. Who the fuck is Debbie this? Debbie misses an abuelita by an inch. She screams. Piense en su familia! Huh? My mom didn't want me to speak Spanish. I learned in secret to understand all the fighting at home. You are Americana, born here. Cut it out! Just say, mama, just say. I would say to her to make her mad. <laughs> We stop at a pocket park at Grand and Kent and sit down to look at the river. Those suitors remind me of El Barrio in Jersey. I haven't heard from Mama since I left. Won't call until I have something to show worth her suffering. My poetry book. Published. In Nueva York. I asked Debbie about her family, and she sinks into a deep silence. Mierda, I screwed up. 
but she jumps off the bench with a manic smile. Let's burn the fucking bike. Why would you do what? that? What? Because it's more fun than talking about our families. How is it that you found this bike abandoned? I mean, it's true. I'm just lucky like that, <laughs> and I say... Well, how you're gonna return? Uh, oh, okay. Bye, bike. <laughs> oh, yeah, the water as well. <laughs> Mean streets. Oh, she has a Oculus t-shirt. Did you Oculus check it out? Sneaky. Audio. Flocking birds. The flocking alley birds. Flocking birds. The flocking alley birds. Deep inside Lois side. The lower east side birds. Cracks in the sky. Rising sky. Falling. Barrio. Through the cracks. Breaking. Ow. Breaking. Breaking. Oh, hard on my eyes. <laughs> Breaking news. Grabbing, pushing, burning, breaking. Breaking news. So the title of the song Storm is Breaking News. Over. I have our first song. Chicos in the mean streets. Chicos of El Barrio. Blocking in the alley. Deep inside Lloyd. Too wordy. Screams Debbie. What? Sounds like some hippie intellectual bullshit. It reminds me of my fucking boarding school. <laughs> Is it the part when I say flocking in the alley? All of it! We are doing downtown music, man. Not some 60s thing. You have to keep it real, Lupe. Jesus. Stop, stop, stop scratching my journal. Stop it, Pera! Yes! Yes, yes! That's what I'm talking about. Read it again, but with that attitude. Okay, I mean... Hmm. Tuesday night. We are drifting from Union Square to the bar. Oh, who is this? Crossing bums selling counterfeit tunnels and kids coming back and forth like frenetic messenger pigeons. Sitting on the hood of a car is Elda Stiletto, smoking alone. I elbow Debbie and breathe a big gulp of fresh air. Elda? My name is Lupe. I'm a poet, and I have a band with my friend Debbie. Poet. And we rock. I'm very drunk, and I lose my train of thought. You <laughs> can't write or... Play. I mean, we can't. We can't write or play. ¿Me entiende? We need you. Silence. What are you doing, man? That's all this stiletto. Shut up. Whispers Debbie. Do you kids want to hang out? Oh yeah, sure. Hang out. <laughs> Ooh, kind of music bitch. You guys want to do. Downtown music, anti hippie stuff. Says Debbie confidently. Punk. Oh. That's a punk. I think. I put a spell on you. This is punk, says Elba. Really? You only need to scream an opinion. This scene, this scene is not punk anymore. Look around you. Everyone wants a boyfriend and a record deal. I'm an artist, you know? I went to art school. Many people don't know that about me. <sighs> what does it mean to be punk? Okay, no, no drugs, world. please. I care about the world. Maybe too much. Elder shoots no, we want to play don't music. touch me. Just like you, I tell them. <laughs> Write the truth in 25 words or less. That's all. But we can't play at all, says Debbie. Come back tomorrow with... Write this down, whispers Elda. No singles. Follow Bitch. my instructions Ow. carefully. You will go to 124 Norfolk Street. Walk quickly, like you know where you are going. Enter through the hole in the wall behind the trash can. Take the stairs. It will be dark there. Quiet down. No, don't. Uh. Go all the way to the fifth floor. Are you kidding me? She said no singles. When did she say that? Right? It's crazy. It's going to be D. No singles. The fuck is going on? We didn't know about the singles. Who sent you here? Oh. I gave him the money. Leave us alone. We don't do kids here. How old are you? Sixteen, I confess. You came to the wrong place, girl. 
Let go of me! Please tell him to let her go. It was my fault. We won't come back. If you are still here in 30 seconds, we'll fuck you up. I don't care if you are a little girl. You feel me? What was that? And girls, remember the last thing. There's only one thing more dangerous than having money in your pocket. Having dope. You are every junkie's every boy. Oh, okay. Bring a knife and run wielding it. <laughs> Bring me the bag. Dopamine. <laughs> Drugs. <laughs> The avenue and slow down. I was Look kinda contemplating if it was heroin. I have no so idea <laughs> what I'm talking about. You know I can't stand it. You running around. You know better, Daddy, I can't stand it because you put me down. Oh wait, that's <laughs> but on East 8th Street, everything comes to a halt. That's fun, uh, epic. Where is my bike, Blanquita? Oh. Um <laughs> Life and death. Okay, let's go. Last chapter. I'm digging it. Where is my bike? What bike? <laughs> what? <laughs> Incapable of being a <laughs> Where is my fucking oh, bike, shit. Blanquita? This barrio has rules, you punks. You know nothing about no bike. Si tu no me dices donde esta la fucking bike, you fall into you. Fall! Espera, espera. Nosotros no tenemos tu motocicleta. ¿Me oyes? What? You Boricua? Sí. Yo soy Boricua. Escucha, nosotros no fuimos. Well, it seems like Spanish paid off. You see that? Oh. Says guy pointing at the spray painted cross on the floor. <laughs> That's my brother. That's the way it is down here. You do something stupid and you get shot. ¿Tú sabes? Yo sé. I reply. Go now. Huh. Okay, that was fast. What about the song? We get to Elda's apartment and the door is open. Oh. Elda is lost on the sofa listening to the clicking sound of the record's needle bumping against the dead wax. Drugged out? We brought you this. Yeah. Where did you get this? On Norfolk Street, as you said. Elda goes pale. I was trying to scare you. How did you get out alive? It wasn't a big deal. We could do it again. This is Debbie, probably. Please don't. We just want to learn how to make a band. I'm sorry, a band? You told us you would teach us? Teach you what? How to play everything. How to play, how to write, how to dress. <sighs> this hangover is killing me. You promised it's coming, us! It's um, coming down dope, okay? from the high. This. No music, no dope. Oh. Oh my god, all right. Okay, that's Bring nice. Bring that tray and plug yourselves in. <gasps> oh my god, <laughs> I didn't need this. <laughs> Stop! You, wait, you're not listening to each other. You need a drummer. You, you're keeping different rhythms. <laughs> we don't want a drummer, says Debbie. The truth is, we couldn't find a kid who could afford drums. <laughs> the guitar has to follow the bass then. Debbie is not happy with this idea. Okay, Lupe, come to the third fret with the E string and play a rhythm with your index finger. I don't get a word of what she just said. Uh. Look, says Elda. Something like this. Uh, I guess close, I don't know. Okay. Okay, Debbie, now follow her. Something like this. Says Elda. We don't have amps, I say timidly. <sighs> Take those. You better bring them back. Hmm. <laughs> Practice day one, okay. Okay. Uh, 
okay. More? <laughs> it's 19. Oh my god. We're stuck in the same place. Oh, we got a drummer. Right, that was a smack in the face, ladies and gentlemen. What's the band's name? Uh, I don't have one yet. Oh my god. This band will open for stilettos next week. Tell your friends. Says Elda to her guests. Wait, what? I whisper to Elda. You dig it or you don't. We dig it, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Elda Stiletto. Hello? We get home around 11 p.m. In the corner, there's a drunk who asks us for a light. If you have a cigarette, says Debbie. Huh? You do look funny, he says, squinting his eyes towards Debbie. Like a boy. Who told you to dress like that? That's how punks dress. I say that out of nowhere. Punk girls. <laughs> the guy laughs. Debbie? Punk is just rock and roll played by gimps. Oh. At least we can hold our liquor, says Debbie, pointing at the bottle he's holding with a trembling hand. I bet we can outdrink your ass before midnight. Oh my god. What? You girls don't want to gamble with strangers in the streets. You could get yourself hurt. Right this moment. The sinners are after a punk girl who stole a chopper. She's gonna get hurt. No, she won't. Look at me. I tell the uh -oh. guy possessed by Debbie's demon. We stole the bike. No. The two of us. What? <laughs> Lupe, what the fuck? What the fuck? Here's Debbie. I take the jacket hanging from the guy's shoulder. And we run away. Why? What that did that the do? The razor blade, stitch by stitch, we removed the Satan sinner's patch. We painted letters with stolen nail polish and attached spikes from a dog collar. Debbie wrote, death is certain, and punk was invented by girls. Debbie passed me the glue and I took a big sniff, and I sunk slowly into a deep expanse of my <laughs> It suddenly popped like blue. I wrote, battle scar. In the times we live in, our pussies are like battle scars. I told Debbie. Yes, 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 that's the name, said Debbie. I opened one of the cabinets in the Oh, it's actually not Oculus t-shirt. Oopsie. Amazing spectacle. A million minuscule bugs were eating from a tea bean <laughs> steak. Once the jewel of the crown, now covered in a delicate network of mold. Oh my god. Spawned from nothing and oh, oh, oh shit. <laughs> right there. I took it all and put it in a mason jar. Why? I'm thinking about how far El Body on Jersey felt right now. Oh shit! How difficult it would be to explain to Mama all the things I was going ah. through. Why they felt so important. Get out from this scene. That is when I heard the noise. Tangled with Alvario, Mama, the bugs, the mold, and the meat. The shadows downstairs looking for us. I grabbed Debbie and we escaped. Where are you girls? <laughs> what? In the street, Debbie says, Palace Hotel. And we go. Our debut, I guess. Or not yet, sure. Why were you in a hotel? This room is always empty. I lived here for months the first time I left home, said Debbie. Why did you leave home in the first place? I asked her. Said I don't want to talk about it. Okay. <laughs> so now we have sex. <laughs> it's perfect time. 
before the concert. Don't go in in the toilet bowl. What the hell? What's wrong with you? They had just watered the garden. Um. The flowers and the mud cushions <clears throat> fall. You know. Ugh, I was so mad when I woke up. And she drowned. Hated those flowers for it. I never want to see them again. Whatever happened, it all comes out when we play. So that's that. Ah! <laughs> Shit. <laughs> We've been hiding in the hotel for two weeks. The concert is in 24 hours, and we need our gear. We must go back to the squad. Around East 6th Street, we start smelling the smoke. It was the sinners, the kid says. Cops are everywhere. We need our stuff, screams Debbie. Nobody gets in or out, replies the cop. Fuck you, she doubles down. What the fuck? Let go of me! <laughs> Debbie! I scream. Uh. Go to the public phone on Norfolk Street tomorrow. I'll call you 12 p.m. sharp. Where are you? I'm my parents in Hewlett Bay upstate. Cops brought me here. Are you okay? Hell is right here with them. But I have a plan. We'll escape. Like Elda said, this scene is fucking tired anyway. Escape where? Somewhere. Bring your stuff to the concert. We'll play and hit the road. I'll bring lots of cash. Gotta go. Bye, Lupe Scar. Bye, Debbie Scar. <laughs> Debbie Scar, okay. Two minutes. I can feel the anxiety growing. Soon it will be paralyzing. I have two minutes. Tops. There is no sign of Debbie. I see Elda talking, but I can't hear her words or understand them. Go by yourself. It is possible. I mean... Blink. And just like that, I'm on stage. The crowd goes silent for the first time in the history of CBGBs. A girl. Debbie's guitar and some of silence. That's the act. Uh, this song is called Breaking News. One, two, three, four! Oh, hell yeah! Debbie! So that's punk, punk then. Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> I thought I'm gonna. I guess I'm more of a metal person. Ooh, that's not bad for a novice. Where the fuck are you, Debbie? What the fuck is happening? Uh oh, breaking news! <laughs> Teenager commits suicide in the New York Military Academy. Wait. A lot of mierda coming from the anchor, filling broadcast time with Debbie. Wait, this is a wig, but it's Debbie. Military Academy? Took me a while to recognize yeah. her on the television news. Different car. They had an old picture of her. Long blonde hair before she left home for the first time. The strangest feeling of being purely present for a few seconds. Just suspended. No feelings crossing through my body at all. But shortly, I was pulled back hard to my life and remembered my hurting. I didn't cry. I simply felt a pressure in my face, blood rushing in like if something important had happened. The anticipation of sadness. Three months later. The words still work like a good luck charm. You would repeat them to numbness. Nothing would come out of it. But who could blame you? Or us, for that matter? We were against all of them. In our corner. Just us. Born 
in the small range of action that deludes one into thinking everything is possible and free. All right, the end. It was so chaotic, but then I kind of like got into it. Like it was very messy, but in a good way. Like uh, I love this storytelling, storytelling kind of art style of it. It was like changing in so many ways in terms of like immersion or like perspective or like the view. Like everything was just like mashed together, but it kind of worked. I'm a little bit confused by the ending because uh, I don't know what's the takeaway from it. Takeaway is don't mess with the police, I guess, or something like that. Because she committed suicide at the end of the day, so what the hell was it worth it? Like, okay. And then we became like a solo band. I don't know. But overall, it was cute. I mean, those two films today, Baba Yaga and Battlescar, for just five euro, it's so worth like the experience. But yeah. Pretty cool. Good day. Good day, definitely.